do you want a second monitor but don't have a lot of desk space? And wouldn't it be nice if the monitor was portable, just like your laptop? Take a look at this monitor. It checks all the boxes. My main setup is in my office, but there are times I like to sit at the kitchen table or even in my camper van. When I'm in different locations, why should I give up a second monitor? I just recently purchased this AOC portable monitor. It's actually an upgrade from a previous AOC monitor that I had. It was also portable and it was a USB connection. You can clearly see the difference, how slim the new one is versus the old one. I actually liked my old one. I didn't have any issues with it. It was just, um, it was a little bit older. And so the resolution wasn't as good as this new one is. And that was my primary reason for upgrading. This one was great while I had it, though, while I was using it. Again, it was easily portable. Um, but this new one is really nice. It has a few features that I really like about it. One is it has this smart cover and it just, it's magnetic. It doubles as the stand, but it also goes over the screen for added protection when you're not using it. When I'm going to transport it, I just put the cover on and then I put it into my laptop bag. But it does come with this portable carrying case also. If I am going to be traveling, I may be going in my camper van or something like that, just for added protection, I'll go ahead and pop it into this little sleeve. Then that way, if it's getting banged around or anything, it's padded, and it's really nice to know that it's a little bit more secure. It does have full HD resolution, so a 1220 by 1080, and the screen size is, the specs come in at 15.6 inches for that. So, like I mentioned, the smart cover does double as the stand for it, which I really like too. So, it is magnetic, so it just snaps into place. If I can do this holding it like this, and snaps into place like this. It also, you can rotate this and have it portrait instead of landscape. So, sometimes when I'm working on Word documents, I have a couple of Word documents open. That way it gives me more real estate to be able to view this in portrait mode. So it doubles as a stand for either landscape or portrait mode. So this is really nice. It is powered by a USB-C cable. There's the cable right there. And I'll just show you the connection. It does have uh, a power button so you can power it on and off. So the USB-C technology is both the power and the display signal to the screen. So you're just carrying around the one cable. Now for my setup, it was just a matter of plugging it in. I'm on Windows 10. It does come with a disc with drivers to install it, but I didn't need that. I just plugged it in and everything works. So my laptop automatically detected the setup. Now, when I purchased this, it was $199.99, so right at $200. Now, AOC does have some slightly different portable uh, monitor models, so just kind of depending on what you need. There is a model that's very sim similar to this one, but it has the low blue light technology. Um, they do have another portable monitor that has the USB 3 connection. And then there is the newest portable monitor that they have, and it has a micro HDMI plus the USB C connection, along with audio output and speakers. But this one really fit my criteria, it fell within my price range for what I was looking for. If you're looking for a second monitor and you want it to be portable, I really think this one is a great option. This is my second AOC monitor that I have owned and I've really liked both of them. I haven't had any problems with either one. And I really think it's a great choice if this is what you're looking for. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. If you are new to setting up a second monitor, then you might want to check out my video on how to change the display settings in Windows 10. See you in the next video.